Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Luke and here on this channel I talk about fragrances. If that's your cup of tea, please consider subscribing. In this video I'll talk about some of my favourite patchouli fragrances from my collection. As you know, patchouli is one of my favourite notes and I'm constantly looking for new patchouli fragrances. I have some new ones on my wish list, but in this video I'll talk about the ones that have been in my collection for at least a few months. These are my patchouli staples. But first of all, let me tell you a bit about patchouli. Patchouli is a plant that comes from the same family as mint. It smells earthy, woody, aromatic, very deep, but it also has a sweetness. In fragrances, you can find several different types of patchouli. Some patchouli perfumes are very dirty and malic, woody, dry with no sweetness at all but on the other hand some patchoulis can be quite sweet and even gourmand leaning patchouli is a very polarizing fragrance ingredient some people absolutely hate it some people absolutely love it but i will say that none of these fragrances none of the fragrances in this video are for someone who is a beginner in patchouli fragrances no 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 these are strong powerful patchouli fragrances that have a very strong earthy patchouli in the base. It's very strong in your face, unapologetic. So if you're someone who just likes, you know, a bit of patchouli and to dry down and you don't like to really smell it, well, this video isn't going to be for you. I'm sorry. The first fragrance that I want to talk about is the newest Miss Dior Parfum from 2024. This is an amber floral fruity chipre, but it has a very strong ambery patchouli base. The bottle and the scent are a bit misleading. This is definitely not your typical pink fragrance. Yes, it does open very sweet, syrupy. It's very heavy on the strawberry. You get some other fruits, um, some peach, I believe, and then you get some jasmine. But this fragrance is all about that strong, ambery, patchouli, earthy, mossy base. Yes, it's all about the patchouli. The patchouli is super, super strong and it's even a bit vintage leaning, a bit masculine leaning, I would say. So this is definitely not your typical pink fragrance. You have to really, really like patchouli to appreciate this fragrance. You know, the fruitiness is there, but the base is rich, deep, woody, earthy, vintage smelling it's all about the patchouli it's not a dirty patchouli it's an earthy patchouli but the base is very prominent and the amber wood is there the cedar wood is there so it's woody earthy ambery and just a bit masculine leaning and many people dislike it because of that i don't i really like it but i think it's a very heavy patchouli fragrance and it's nothing like the previous version of Miss Dior, the 2021 one, which is more about the florals and the vanilla. This one is, like Miss Dior Cherie, very strong on the patchouli. Moving on, I chose Coco Mademoiselle Intense, released in 2018. I could have chosen the original, but I decided to go for the Intense one because it's stronger, sweeter and heavier on the patchouli than the original at least to my nose this fragrance is a patchouli bomb yes it has all the elements of the original coco mademoiselle it has the rose you know the zingy citrusy opening it has some vanilla in the base but the patchouli is the star of the show the and it also has the musk some vetiver you know all the main notes that coco mademoiselle has but this one has a much stronger an amplified base. The patchouli in Coco Mademoiselle Intense is this typical Chanel style, opulent, elegant, expensive smelling patchouli that only Chanel knows how to do, how to execute to perfection. I absolutely adore the Chanel patchouli and another Chanel fragrance that is actually on my wish list that has this same beautiful patchouli notes is Coromandel from the exclusive line. It does cost about 240 euros, but it's absolutely exquisite. It's on my wish list. I'll definitely get it one day. 
Um, I don't know when that will be, but it's on my wish list. Okay, moving on to the next patchouli fragrance, which I would say is a good replacement, not a dupe for Cormondel. And this is my holy grail patchouli fragrance. It's called Patchouli from the house of Reminiscence, which is a French fragrance brand. And this same fragrance, this same formula, has also been at one point released by two other companies, Les Nerides and Honoré Payon. These three brands can't really decide who owns the rights to the original patchouli fragrance. Um, Honoré Payon claims that, you know, Honoré Payon released the original patchouli fragrance back in the 19th century and they still sell it, but they had to rename it because uh, Les Nerides decided to trademark Patchouli Antique. So there was a whole legal kerfuffle going on. I won't get into it in this video, but you can read up on it online. But in this video, I'll be talking about Reminiscence Patchouli, the original patchouli from 1970. This is the original hippie patchouli fragrance from the 70s. It's a rich earthy patchouli. It has some woody amber as well and when it dries down it almost smells like dark chocolate. It's warm, dark, rich, smooth but it also has a delicious sweet undertone that comes from the vanilla and the amber. The opening is very earthy and even aromatic but the dry down is very smooth ambery patchouli. It's very strong, very concentrated very pungent um, but if you give it a chance and let it dry down on your skin you'll absolutely love it but you have to love patchouli and I would say it does smell old-fashioned but it's a patchouli lover's dream. This is my holy grail patchouli fragrance. I'll keep trying new ones of course and I really love Cormondel as well from Chanel but this one is truly my holy grail patchouli fragrance I don't even have to talk about the performance because this is a beast mode scent. It lasts about 12 hours on my skin and days on clothes. And it's still relatively affordable, even though it was re-released and repackaged, I believe. A 50 mil now costs about 80 euros. When the old version was still available, I did pick up a few backups, luckily. So my next patchouli fragrance is the original Gucci Rush Eau de Toilette from 1999. And this is a classic fruity floral Chypre fragrance that has a very strong patchouli note in the base. It does have a peach note in the opening, gardenia, some freesia, coriander, rose, jasmine, vanilla. But the patchouli is what stands out the most, in my opinion, especially when this dries down. It's very unique, super strong. It comes in this stunning cassette-shaped bottle. It's a very heady fragrance. It's a fruit patchouli. It smells plasticky in the best way possible. It's one of the most unique fragrances in my collection. The perfumer behind it was Michel Almerac. He was responsible for creating this masterpiece. And this fragrance is absolutely bold, edgy, polarizing, addictive, sexy, and seductive. The patchouli in Gucci Rush is not as strong and pungent as the patchouli in Angel or the patchouli in um, Reminiscence patchouli or even the Chanel patchouli is not as pungent. This is your typical earthy patchouli that, you know, you can smell in most designer fragrances. But in this fragrance, it's blended in such a unique way that, you know, it just makes this fragrance a masterpiece. And I absolutely love Gucci Rush. I have a 75 milliliter bottle. I probably won't use it up anytime soon, but I might pick up another one before it gets discontinued. I really hope it won't be discontinued anytime soon, but you never know. So that's Gucci Rush from Gucci. My next pick is Knowing from Estee Lauder, released in 1988. This is a Chypre floral or a Chypre woody fragrance, and this is a very strong old school Chypre. It's very rich, complex, earthy, woody, a bit spicy, floral, mossy. 
but it has a very strong patchouli note. And the patchouli is one of the main elements that make up the Chypre Accord in this fragrance. And yes, it does have some florals, some aldehyde, some spices, some powdery notes, amber, even some civet, some animalic notes. But the patchouli and the oak moss, or just the patchouli if you have the newer version like me, are what makes that Chypre Accord. And, you know, patchouli doesn't have to be an ambery patchouli, it can be a sheeper patchouli, it can be a spicy patchouli, a fruity patchouli. And in this fragrance, it's a very complex, woody, spicy, powdery patchouli with a hint of rose. You know, you can't really classify this fragrance, but it, it has so many different notes. It has a staggering 26 notes and it's such a complex fragrance. But the patchouli is the note that really grounds it and makes it rich, deep and earthy. So that's Knowing from Estee Lauder. And I have two more patchouli fragrances that I want to talk about. I don't have them in my collection yet, but I really like both. The first one is the original Angel. You know, you can't really do a patchouli video without at least mentioning Angel because Angel was so groundbreaking. It came out in the early 90s. It changed the course of perfume history. It was the first gourmand fragrance. It was a very strong, potent, candy floss, chocolate, spicy patchouli scent. It's a bombastic scent. It's one of a kind, very unique, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Angel smells like, whether you like it or not. I used to really hate it, but now I do actually really love it. I appreciate it because it's such a beautiful patchouli fragrance with that gourmand accord. You know, it has some berries, some chocolate, some candy floss or cotton candy, whatever you want to call it. It's an absolute icon in the 20th century perfumery and it's also one of the fragrances, in my opinion, that really popularised patchouli in mainstream designer perfumery. And we've seen lots of patchouli fragrances released since the early 2000s. And then in the 2010s, La Vie Belle was big and Armani C was also all the rage. Both are strong patchouli fragrances. And then we also had Flower Bomb, another patchouli scent. In my opinion, the patchouli trend is something that, you know, comes and goes. Uh, and let's talk about another fragrance that I recently tested. And it's one from Lush and it's called uh, Lord of Misrule. And this one was recommended to me by a follower on Instagram who has his own perfume page on Instagram. And the name of his page is Honest Opinion Fragrance. And he very kindly alerted me to this lovely fragrance from Lush. I did pop into the Lush store the other day and I tried it. And I can really say it's your typical amber, vanilla, patchouli fragrance. It reminded me of so many other fragrances. And it's definitely on my wish list. You know, Lush fragrances are fairly inexpensive. I want to say about 30 to 50 euros, depending on the size. But this one is a really lovely patchouli scent. It has a bit of spiciness. It's earthy. It's also slightly balsamic. I think it also has black pepper, if I'm not mistaken. Patchouli, vanilla and black pepper are the notes. Yes. So this one's definitely on my wish list. And Honest Opinion Fragrance, thank you ever so much for the recommendation. And we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments what your favourite patchouli fragrances are. Let me know how you've been, what you've been doing. I love interacting with my subscribers in the comments. I always reply to your comments and I really enjoy reading them. So thank you so much for watching. Have a nice weekend. Bye.